What's up gamers? My name's Sayushi and we're back in some more troll. We're hanging out here on the test server, so don't get too crazy thinking that all oh, this is on the live server and where is it? Why can't I access it? You can't, okay? So today we're gonna be taking a look at the allies that you end up getting out of the locked adventure mean boxes. Uh, we'll also take a look at the mount itself, uh, you know, just because I want to pile them all together, the, what we can end up getting out of these lock boxes. There is one ally that the devs didn't give me, so I, I don't know if I'll end up getting my hands on it, but I wanted to kind of just cover uh, how the adventuring lock boxes work in the first place. And then as an added bonus, just because I can't justify making an individual video for these guys, we're going to take a look at the new habitat allies. So these are going to be... Uh, obtained very very rarely from the gardening habitats which is an extremely uh, extremely pricey item that you get out of gardening 2.0 you gotta be a master gardener in order to plant these down in a club world thankfully everybody can have a chance of grabbing the ally out of the club world just individually on their own client side rather than it being you have to be a member of the club or you know somebody already stole it what have you so you know it's gonna suck to actually get these that's for sure because we're going to have to start getting uh, start getting habitats again and start actually farming them. So anyways, we'll talk about these at the end. Because for right now, let's mess with the allies here. So we've got uh, the Nautox something or rather. It gives us 125 max health and 75 power rank. Which not really that great. You know, it's going to end up being cool though. That's for sure. Because it's going to end up being a cute little pinata ally. Which I like him. Like look at him. He's so cute. So the thing is that these allies, uh, these pinata allies, if I'm not mistaken, these boxes uh, have a chance of dropping whatever the seasonal pinata ally is. Uh, and it just so happens that we're actually at the autumn one. So that means when winter rolls around, uh, this ally would end up being replaced with the winter one in the strong boxes. So if you end up just being super duper lucky, getting everything out of the strong boxes right away or gain all the allies, then I would recommend you save the rest of them and continue to grind them so that when the new season rolls around, you can end up having a higher chance of getting the next guy. Yeah. Uh, so then there's going to be the hyper cubes, which I do actually already have this guy unlocked. I have a, co a couple of these guys unlocked. So he's going to get 15 uh, health regen and 65 physical damage. And he's, he's cute. He's edgy. I like him. You know, he just is like a superhero version of Cubesly type of thing. And I, I don't know, there's just something about it. I just always loved Cubesly, like he's such an idiot. I even, back in the day, this is so cool, look at this. I actually have a Cubesly, like that's out of, like, I don't know, he's like made out of pottery or something, but uh, the devs ended up sending me and the other content creators uh, that Cubesly as well as like a bunch of pinata codes. That was years ago, by the way. So don't start screaming at me for free stuff. Uh, and then we've also got the grumpy snowy fiend or whatever. I actually really like this guy. He's so cute. Uh, he gives three max energy and 5% to health regen. Or was that energy regen? Yeah, that was energy regen. And he's he's just adorable because he's just one of the Yeti enemies, just their head. But then he's got like arms and legs and he just, he just looks so cute. Give me a cube class, please. I want to have a character that looks just like these guys that doesn't have a head. Similar to how the Revenant doesn't have a head, but it would actually make sense because my head would be my body, right? Like that would be cool. I, I really like this guy though. I think he just looks absolutely adorable. Uh, and then we've got the Egg Noggin. So this is a great friend to have over, uh, what? Why doesn't it say the stats that it has? That's kind of strange. Uh, but either way, it's going to end up giving you 20% magic damage and 20% physical damage. Uh, it's it's eggnog, so I mean, I love eggnog. Who doesn't? So we're going to destroy this guy. It's got eyeballs for some weird reason, but I'll take it. He hops around. His dance is really weird because he just kind of spins in circles. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, and then we've got the mount right here, Afterburn. So we're going to check this guy out and then we'll open as much of these lock boxes as we can today as well as kind of an added bonus. I'm really hoping that we can get, uh, there's another ally that I'm missing that they didn't get me. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's in the adventure tab pixel. So this cuddly merchant is rumored to appear the, uh, to appear to the generous. Maybe this isn't related to the strong boxes. Maybe this is just something else. Because it says appears to the generous. Uh, maybe it's based on donations. Uh, you know, the new donation boxes or something like that. I don't know. I'll try and get uh, I'll try and get my hands on this uh, from the devs. But it actually gives you a 1% increase on adventuring gain. I don't even know if that's going to do anything in this game. It'll probably literally just give you like one adventuring or zero. Because it's only 1%. But it gives you a dark stat value. And the dark stat is a hidden stat. 
that you can't actually get on your characters. You can't even see it on your character or anything. It's not in here because the dark stat is the opposite of the light stat. The light stat basically is armor penetration and the dark stat is an armor stat. So potentially by having dark on our character, we might actually have the first, if not of many eventually, defensive ally where we would actually have defense and it would scale down the amount of damage that the enemies do. Cause I think that's something that Trove desperately needs. It was very strange when the Geo Topside update came out and they renamed uh, the armor penetration and armor stats to light and dark. It didn't make any sense, but okay. It's within the confines of the game's lore, cool, whatever. But it was strange that we ourselves didn't get that value. Like we weren't able to get dark stat on anything because I thought it was going to be a way that the game would end up becoming a little bit more strategic where you would be able to balance defense or offense instead of Trove literally just being 100% offense. That's it. So this is going to end up being a gliding mount as well. It's a griffin. And he actually looks pretty cool. I'm kind of surprised. He's very robotic. Uh, unfortunately, we can see he doesn't have too, too much detail. He's literally got like three or four colors on him. I think it's just three because it's like the dark gray, the orange, and the light gray. And I think that's it. Yeah. So that's too bad. Uh, not to mention he doesn't really have like that much detail on like his wings or anything. Oh, no. He's got a little bit more detail than I thought he did. His wings are thicker than I thought. But either way, I mean... If you're a fan of the Griffin mounts, then sure, go for it. Uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of these guys. Uh, I do think that they're cool, though. When you fly to the left or right, uh, he ends up flapping his wings. And if you pull back like this, he ends up flapping his wings, which looks really cool. You know, I, I do like it. But for me, this would just end up being mastery. That's the only reason I would end up going for something like this, you know. Uh, and then we've got the gardening allies that I mentioned. And then we'll open some of these, unbox, uh, unbox some of the stuff and mess around with the adventurer's lunchbox so we've got an emerald glow bug which is probably quite literally just going to end up being the same as the normal glow bug but yeah he's going to end up being different colors so he's got five percent to attack speed five energy regen uh, very little is known about the glow bug but the presence signifies a healthy colony uh emerald glow bug yeah okay i was just reading the description to see if it did anything as far as gardening is concerned and he's kind of cute in a bug way I, I don't know i'm not really the fan a uh, big fan about these but uh cool stuff yep they're kind of neat anyways uh we've got the rainwater snail which is going to give 120 max health and 24 health regen kind of useless but whatever let's just go for this one as well and he's just going to end up being, yeah, he's just a snail. So nothing really super impressive. He kind of looks cute though. Uh, I do like the way that it looks. It reminds me of Maple Story. Anybody else get vibes from like other games and stuff, right? But either way, it's still, uh, it's still pretty cool. Like I, I still actually really like this guy just because I, I don't know. There's something about those snails that I just find appealing. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys all think in the comments about these guys as well. So we got our B and this one looks like it might be okay. Maybe. So he's going to give you three jump and 5% to crit damage. And ooh, he's like a white bee. Okay, it just kind of looks like his color's washed out rather than it being something that was intended. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Not really my favorite, but it still looks cool enough. I, I mean, if you're into bees, I don't really like bees. Uh, bees are in my eyes. Uh, and then flower beds, seeds, shepherd, whatever. 6% uh, magic damage minus 8% incoming damage. Okay, whatever. This is going to be the last out of the gross gardening allies, which is just going to end up being a fey flying thing. I, I don't like it. I don't really like those guys. I mean, it's cool. It's kind of like a cute little compadre that's going to help you out on your adventures, but not really something that I'm super into. Now, unfortunately, I only have 11 strongbox keys. I don't know why the devs gave me 20 strongboxes and only 10 strongbox keys. And I'm obviously on the test server, so I'm not really grinding it too, too much. So I don't really have more than 11 keys. Yeah, uh, but let's open a couple of these right here and see if we can end up getting some different types of food. Uh, I don't really know how many we can get. It seems like it's just the three. Yeah, if we end up getting like 10 of each of these. Yeah, okay. It's just the three different foods. Huh. I mean, maybe there's other foods in here that are super duper rare. But the fact is that that was like hundreds of thousands of adventurine right there already. Okay, so let's see what these all do. So we've got uh, the peanut butter and jam gives you laser, uh, 50 laser mancy for 30 minutes. Obviously, this acts as a food, so it's going to go into your food slot. Uh, and then as soon as it goes into the food slot, it's going to start to uh, decay. And 
any extra that you have is still going to be able to be retrieved. So for example, if I put this on my character and then I pull it back out, you can see that I've got 12 because the 13th one is stuck to my character now because it's actually got a value of less than 30 minutes. So you just can't end up pulling it off of your character in that regard. Uh, so then we've got fruit milk, which uh, one flask capacity, more so that'll help starting players. I think most of this is just for starting players, not really mid tier or late tier. I don't know one flask capacity is that good guys let me know in the comments and then finally five more movement speed okay now we're talking so that only lasts 30 uh, minutes unfortunately but and you can't really farm for it specifically but an extra five movement speed is uh, i kind of want it just to see how fast you could go but i honestly would not recommend wasting your adventurine on these boxes you know like they're like 250 adventurine a pop with the limited amount of adventuring that you can farm per day, it's just, it's not worth it in my eyes. I just don't think that it'd be worth going for. So anyways, let's open these, see if we end up getting, I don't think we'll get that pixel ally. It seems like you get the allies from the strong box as the most common items. Uh, and then apparently the mount as well. But let's see out of this many, we got one left already, Jiminy Crockett, the extra bouncer. That was another uh, mount that I already got out of these. Huh? Anyways. Then there's all the costumes, but we'll save that for another day. Uh, you know, if that already didn't end up going up, because I'm recording these in a different order, then they're probably going to end up being uploaded on the channel because I'm leaving it to you guys to decide which of the videos ended up going up. But that's already long overdue and uh, you guys have already voted for that. So anyways, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Smash like, sub for more. If you want to support me, you can hit that join button, buy some of the merch that's in the description, what have you. You guys know how it is. If you're new to Trove, you can use a sign up link in the description. That one helps me out exponentially because when you end up signing up and buying anything out of the store, I make a cut and it doesn't end up increasing the price of anything in the store for you guys. So it's just uh, an added bonus for me on the side. Thanks for watching though, folks. Sign on, stay epic.